I will enter his courts with praise. I will say, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I am so glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Hallelujah. He has made me glad. I am so glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Let's begin to worship him this evening. Wherever you are joining us from, let's open our mouth and let's begin to give God praise. Let's give him worship. Let's honor and adore his name. Let's give him glory. Let's praise the name of the Lord who has been so good to us. The Lord God Almighty who is wonderful, who is excellent, who doeth great things. Let's praise the name of the Lord God who gave us strength even this morning when we woke up. He kept us on our feet and we were able to do our errands. And he is our strength now, our sustainer. Let's give him praise and glory. Let's worship him. Let's adore him. Let's magnify him. Let's exalt his name. Because of the truth, he's a great God. He's been good to us. He's been good to our families. He's been good to us as brethren. He's been good to this family of God. God has been so good. Let's appreciate him. Let's give him thanks. Let's praise his name. Father, you are worthy. Lord, we declare your worthiness, Lord Jesus. Lord, I can't contain your goodness. Your goodness make me burst out in praise. You've been so good. You've been so good and excellent, Jehovah. I look around and I see your goodness. I see your goodness all around. Why will I not praise you, Lord? Why will I not worship? you. Why will I not declare your wondrous work, Lord? Because you've really been so good. I can't tell it all. You've been too good. Too good, too good, too good. Too good to the body of Christ. Too good to my family. Too good to the church. Too good to as many that love and work with you. Your goodness, Lord. Your goodness, Jesus. I can tell it all. Merciful Father, you that does not deal with us according to what we deserve, you show it mercy day in and day out. Your word says if you can't iniquity, who shall stand? And that is so true. And of a truth, you are a righteous God, the heart of a pure eyes and to behold iniquity. Father, we that we are not a people, you have made us, we are not called a people of God. Oh, what a wonderful love. Jesus, we praise your name, oh Lord, I appreciate you, Lord. I am so grateful for Calvary, so grateful for that great job you did on the cross of Calvary. The Bible says, when we were yet sinners, Christ died. He said, for a good man, so we not even want to to die. But yet why we were yet sinners you died. Oh what a love. What a love Jesus. Thank you for loving us. For loving us Lord Jesus. Thank you. For loving us and taking our place right on that cross. Oh Lord. Thank you. Thank you for what you did. Thank you for what you are doing. 
Thank you because you are in the business of doing us good. We bless your name, O oh Lord God. We've come this hour to say thank you, Jesus. And Lord, we give you all the glory. We release the blood of Jesus Christ as a cleansing over our lives. We declare that these heavens of 22 Benton Road is open. We declare that tonight we worship under open heavens. In the name of Jesus Christ, resurrected Jesus, glorify your name again. Thank you for your servant, O oh Lord, our Father in the Lord, whom you have prepared to bless us this evening. Thank you as you empower him with your word. Thank you for as many that are on their way and those that are here right now. Thank you because there's an impartation of the Holy Spirit upon every life. Thank you because our angel of blessing will look at each and every one of us with our packages, so oh Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you as you will glorify Jesus in this meeting tonight. And at the end, we have cause to praise your name. Blessed be your name, Lord. For in Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Let's quickly take uh, one or two prayer points. The Bible declared in Genesis 47, verse 27. It says, And Israel dwelt in the land of Egypt, in the country of Goshen, and they had possessions therein, and grew and multiplied exceedingly. And Israel dwelt in the land of Egypt, in the country of Goshen, and they had possessions therein, and grew, and multiplied exceedingly. Therefore you will pray, O oh Lord God, let the power of increase invade my life. No matter the times, no matter where I am, no matter where I dwell. He says that Jacob dwelled in Egypt. And of a truth, the country of Goshen, he said, and he had possession. Therefore, begin to say, Lord God, let your power of increase invade my life. No matter the place, no matter the season, no matter where I am, let your power of increase invade our lives as your people, Lord, in the name of Jesus. No matter the times, no matter the seasons, the God that blesses, the God that blesses, you are the one that blessed Jacob, even in that country, in that land of Egypt. And the Bible said he dwell in Goshen. Goshen became a place of blessing. By the reason of your servant, you put it. Lord God, we decree, Lord, as we dwell in this land and in this nation, let blessings locate our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the power to possess blessings, let it invade us as your people in this land. In the name of Jesus Christ, just as Jacob dwelt in Goshen in Egypt there, and you prospered him, and you blessed him. Lord, we decree, as we, your people, dwell in this nation, as we dwell in the land, as we dwell, Lord, we begin to take possession. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because you are the God of blessings and of a truth. No matter where we dwell, no matter the seasons, no matter what time it is, blessings will locate us. In the name of Jesus, the power of luck, we have no power over us. In the name of Jesus, the God of fruitfulness that located Jacob, even in the land of Egypt, Lord, locate us in this nation of Canada. Locate us in this city. Locate us and impart blessing in our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, let our lives receive blessing. We decree our heavens be opened. Be open for our pouring of blessings. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord God. In Jesus Christ's name we have prayed. In Genesis 48 verse 4. Genesis 48 verse 4. And it says... And said unto me, Behold, I will make thee fruitful. This is Jacob speaking. 
And he said unto me, Behold, I will make thee fruitful and multiply thee. And I will make of thee a multitude of people. And we give this land to thy seed after thee for an everlasting possession. Still talking about the God of blessing. Therefore you will decree, O oh Lord God, according to your word, that you will make me fruitful and multiply me and make me a multitude of people and give me this land and to my seed after me based upon this eternal word of God oh God of blessing fulfill your word of blessing in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ according to your word oh Lord in Genesis 48 verse 4 he said to Jacob and we stand even as the spiritual seed of Jacob and we begin to decree and declare that Lord you will make us fruitful you will multiply us so Lord, you will make of us a multitude of people. You will give us the land to possess. You will give it to our seed to possess as an everlasting possession. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh God of fruitfulness, oh God of multiplication, oh God of blessing, oh God of increase, locate our lives, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, as ambassadors of light, ambassadors of the kingdom blessings must identify with us oh Lord so that we can fully represent the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus Christ we need substances we need finances we need this oh Lord God even in doing this work therefore as ambassadors of the kingdom blessings will recognize us blessings will dwell with us blessings will abide in our tents in the name of Jesus Christ whatever that brings sorrow we not come now our blessings in the name of Jesus Christ knowing fully where that the blessings of the Lord make it rich and added no sorrow therefore our blessings will not carry sorrow in the name of Jesus Christ our blessings will carry joy multiplying joy in the name of Jesus knowing fully where that the joy of the Lord is our strength the joy of the Lord shall continually be our strength in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jehovah Nissi, the God that is faithful. We give you praise. We give you glory. We bless your name because you are the God of increase. And you will increase us greatly. You will multiply us greatly. Yes, Lord, in this congregation, you will increase us. In the name of Jesus Christ. In this land, you will increase us, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Power that fights growth. Powers that fight growth. Be cut off from above our Christian gathering. Be cut off from this place. Be cut off from our lives. In the name of Jesus, whatsoever power that fights growth, that fights increase, that fights blessing, be terminated by the blood of Jesus. Be cut off by the blood of Jesus Christ. Any weapon that fights growth, that fights increase, that fights blessing, the Lord rebuke you. The Lord dress you down. In the name of Jesus Christ, the God of increase fight for us the God of increase fight for us in Jesus Christ's name we have prayed Genesis 48 verse 11 Genesis 48 11 declares and Israel said unto Joseph I had not thought to see thy face and lo God had showed me also thy seed. This was blessings beyond his expectation. He was saying, I didn't even expect to see you. I was told you are dead. I was told that I cannot see you. It's, it's like now nah, I'm not only seeing you, I'm seeing your children. It's like God has done more than what I expected. Therefore, you will decree and declare, Oh Lord God, oh Lord.
Lord God of surprises. Increase my greatness on every side. Surprise me with blessings in the name of Jesus. In this place, oh Lord, in above our Christian gathering, I see our expectation. Walk beyond what we expected you to do. Increase us greatly in the name of Jesus. Blessings of every kind. Lord, let it locate us in Jesus' name. Surprise us with your greatness. Just as the way you surprised Israel. When he saw Joseph that was supposed to be dead and gone. And of a truth, he saw not just Joseph, he saw Joseph's children. Father, Lord God, I decree and I declare over this house, you will walk beyond beyond our expectation, you will move in a way that will say, ah, this must be God. You will beat our imaginations because you will do exceedingly, abundantly above all that we ever think of. Father, do it to the glory of your name. Do it, O oh Lord God, just as the way you did it, O oh Lord, for Israel. He said, he said, I had not thought to see thy face, Joseph. And lo, God has showed me also thy seed. Father, you will show us our seed, our grandchildren, great-grandchildren, long, long life and prosperity of every way, in every aspect of life. You will endure us with in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, God of surprises, Lord, you will surprise us with blessing. As the year comes to an end, oh, Lord God, every good thing we've ever deserved of you, begin to release them now in the name of Jesus. Any prince of Pasha hanging in the air, holding on to blessing, the Lord rebuke you, the Lord dress you down in the name of Jesus. The consuming fire of my living God waste you from there in the name of Jesus. Let bless Blessings begin to fall upon us, O oh Lord. Let the dew of heaven release blessings as the year comes to an end. By the reason of what your people are passing through in Jerusalem, the God of all open doors, evade our lives in the name of Jesus. The God of all fruitfulness, evade our lives. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Let the dew of heaven fall upon my chesty soul. Let the dew of heaven fall on us. Let the Holy Spirit come and take control. Let the dew of heaven fall upon our thirsty soul. Let the dew of heaven fall on us. Let the Holy Spirit come and take control. Let the dew of heaven fall on us. Knows. Begin to ask that the dew of heaven will fall upon you tonight. Yes, in this meeting, ask that the dew of heaven fall upon your life. The dew of heaven touch you. The dew of heaven, which is blessing, which is grace, which is glory. Let it touch you. The dew of heaven, let it touch our lives tonight. In Jesus Christ's name we have prayed. Amen.
Better is one day in your coat. Better is one day in your house. Better is one day in your coat than thousands elsewhere. Better is one day in your coat. Better is one day in your house. Better is one day in your coat than thousands elsewhere. Better is one day. Better is one day. Better is one day.
people to show his excellence.
so strong Show yourself by some in the midst of the storm Through the trials and tribulations He will give us a song Show yourself mighty Show yourself strong Show yourself mighty Show yourself Show yourself mighty Show yourself strong
beautiful king, excellent God, I bow before your throne, bow before your throne, worship at your feet, bow before your throne, you are a glorious God. for your throne. Sing Ale Ta. Ale w Ale w Ta. Ale w Yahweh of Israel. Yahweh of Israel. Ale w Ta. Ale w Ta. Sing it with a wave offering. Ale w Ta. Ale w Ta. Ale w Ta. The beginning and the ending. I love time. Sing a life on the top. I love time. I live on the top. I love time. The way of Israel. Yeah, the way of Israel. I live time. I live time. Sing it with a way. Somebody shout hallelujah. Yeah, 2023 is my year of secure divine refuge. As it is written, for the Lord has been my defense and my God the rock of my refuge. Therefore, in this year, 2023, the God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob is my defense. And my rock of refuge. In Jesus' name, you receive and believe that say yes. Say the regiment battalion commanders of the Lord God of hosts arise, fight for me, and glorify Jesus. The regiment battalion commanders of the Lord God of hosts fight for me and glorify Jesus. The regiment battalion commanders of the Lord God of hosts, now is the hour. 
fight for me and glorify Jesus. God release a creative mandate of blessings. In Genesis chapter 1 verse 28, based on that, declare, say in the name of Jesus, this day is this creative mandate perfected in my life. That in the name of Jesus, I am blessed. I'm gloriously fruitful. I multiply in fruitfulness. I replenish and subdue the heart. I'm established in the covenant of glorious dominion. I am blessed. I'm gloriously fruitful. I multiply in glorious fruitfulness. I replenish and subdue the hurt. And I'm established in covenant of glorious dominion. I am blessed. I'm gloriously fruitful. I multiply in glorious fruitfulness. I replenish and subdue the hurt. And in the name of Jesus, I'm established in covenant of glorious dominion. This gathering is blessed. Gloriously fruitful. Multiplying in glorious fruitfulness. Replenishing and subduing the heart. And establishing covenant of glorious dominion. In Jesus' name and everybody says, God said through Abraham shall all the families of the heart be blessed. You want to be blessed? Connect with the covenant blessings of Abraham. Say in the name of Jesus. Every part of me be established in the covenant blessings of God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob. Every part of me, spirit, soul, and body, be established now in the covenant blessings of God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob. I decree every part of me, spirit, soul, and body, be established now in the covenant blessings of God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob. Every part of this gathering, I decree, be established now in the covenant blessings of God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob. In Jesus' name. Declare. Say, Holy Spirit, activate now the covenant blessings of God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob in all areas of my life. Holy Spirit of the living God, activate now the covenant blessings of God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob in all areas of my life. Precious Holy Spirit of the living God, now is the hour. Activate now the covenant blessings of God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob in all areas of my life. In Jesus' name, Holy Spirit, now is the hour. Activate now the covenant blessings of God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob in all areas of my life, in Jesus' name. I pray the Holy Spirit to activate now the covenant blessings of God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob over your life, in Jesus' name. Go forth and manifest the covenant blessings of God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob, in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Spirit, activate now the covenant blessings of God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob in this gathering. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody says. We've been looking into Holy Spirit as voice. Genesis chapter 3. Verses 8, 9, and 10. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where are thou? And he said, I heard the voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. Back to verse 8. They heard the voice of the Lord walking. That was the Holy Spirit. The voice of the Lord went ahead, advanced, because at this point, they've been stripped of God's presence. 
they were hidden from the presence of the Lord. And the voice of the Lord set in. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking, advancing, searching out in the midst of the garden. Read the next verse, verse 9. What says the scripture, the next verse? And the Lord called. Now you can see, Holy Spirit went ahead, then, and the Lord God called. Then God now called them. The first intervention after the fall of man was the voice of the Lord. When the voice of the Lord has cleared the way to advance the situation, to turn it from the backwardness the enemy has brought them in, he walked them out of that backwardness. Then the Lord God now spoke. The first intervention we need in any crisis, however deeply falling, separated from God, however damaged we are, the very first intervention that will bring restoration and victory is the voice of the Lord. And the voice of the Lord walked. Meaning, from where the enemy hid them, he began to clear the way to bring them forth. To make them available again for fellowship. Any situation you are going through, receive the voice of the Lord. And victory is certain. And victory is certain. Lift up your voice. Back to verse 8. Declare, it is written. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden. Let the voice of the Lord God break forth into my life to rescue me. Let the voice of the Lord God break forth into my life to rescue me. Let the voice of the Lord God break forth into my life to rescue me. Lift up your voice, declare that. Let the voice of the Lord God break forth into this gathering to rescue us. In Jesus' name, I pray for you that the voice of the Lord to break forth into your life to rescue you in Jesus' name. Why was it important for the voice of the Lord as the old first intervention to restoration? Same Genesis chapter 3 from verse 1. If you read carefully, there had been the voice of Satan. And when Satan asked, as God said, you shall not eat of every tree of the garden, he twisted the word. And Eve responded in verse 2. The woman said, we may eat. She has already been under the influence of the voice of the serpent. This is the age we need to design voices. Many people say, and the Lord said to me, the Lord said to me, I check you multiple times. Multiple times. Because if that is the frequency the Lord speaks, great deliverance will have occurred. There is need to design voices. Satan twisted the word of God. This woman was influenced by the voice of the serpent. And before you know, there was a fall. I want us to pray that let the voice of the Lord God Break forth into my life to break me loose and set me free. Let the voice of the Lord God break forth into my life to break me loose and so set me free. Let the voice of the Lord God break forth into this gathering to break us loose and to set us free. In Jesus' mighty name, and everybody says, 
the first intervention to bring us out of satanic trap and to restore us to God was the voice of God. Lift up those hands. Say, I receive the intervention of the voice of God in all areas of my life. I receive the intervention of the voice of God in all areas of my life. In Jesus' name, I receive the intervention of the voice of God in all areas of my life. In Jesus' name, I receive the intervention of the voice of God in all areas of my life. In Jesus' name, in this gathering, we receive the intervention of the voice of God in all areas of our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. She was already open up to satanic influence because of the voice of the serpent. Lift up your voice and pray. Say, in the name of Jesus, I refuse to be influenced by satanic voices. You better pray that really well. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I refuse to be influenced by satanic voices. I refuse to be influenced by satanic voices. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I refuse to be influenced by satanic voices. In Jesus' name. I want us to pray. There are voices that have influenced our life till today. Spoken over you when you are even able to discern words. Some witches or wizards. We do pretend as if they are playing with babies. But they are programming satanic words. Programming satanic words. I'm stepping in a case. This, this baby was just laughing and breathing and laughing. And the woman was speaking. I just say, it is written. I began to quote Psalm 29. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord break it. In. The voice of the Lord discovery. The voice of... You say, who are you? I say, every voice you are programming to her under the arrest of the blood of Jesus and rooted out. The blood of Jesus disengage it. It's just in that noise. Say, carry. I say, I'm not carrying. Give it back to the mother. There are voices when you can't even design words that have been programmed and altered your life. Hey, baby. Ah, your face look at like, ah, hey. I want you to pray. And that has altered our real identity. We've been reprogrammed. From the time Eve connected to the voice of serpent, the voice of Satan, she was perpetually altered. Lost her identity, lost her dominion, together with her husband, they were thrown away. Just one conversation. How many people have spoken negatively as a baby, even from your mother's womb. Look, she's pregnant again. This pregnancy is making you look like already programming. I want to, if you understand this, great deliverance is here right now. Lift up your voice. Say, voices program into my life. Oh, Lord. Voices program into my life. I reject you by the blood of Jesus. Oh, yeah. Voices program into my life to afflict me. I reject you by the blood of Jesus and I break covenant with you. Voices program into my life to afflict me. I reject you by the blood of Jesus and I break covenant with you. In Jesus' name, voices programmed into my life to afflict me. I reject you by the blood of Jesus and I break covenant with you in Jesus' name. Voices programmed into my life. I reject you by the blood of Jesus. And I break covenant with you in Jesus' name. Say, voices programmed into my life from the womb of my mother. 
blood of Jesus. Hmm. Voices programmed into my life from the womb of my mother to afflict me. Blood of Jesus revoke and set me free. Voices programmed into the womb of my mother to afflict me. Blood of Jesus revoke and set me free. Revoke and set me free. In Jesus' name, voices programmed into the womb of my mother to afflict me. I reject it and I break covenant with you. Now begin to reject it and break the covenant. Voices programmed into my life from the womb of my mother by the covenant of the blood of Jesus. I reject you. I break covenant with you in Jesus' name. Now pray. Oh, say the voice of the blood of Jesus. The voice of the blood of Jesus. Arrest voices programmed into my life from my mother's womb to afflict me, root out and cast out. In Jesus' name, the voice of the blood of Jesus. Arrest voices programmed into my life from my mother's womb to afflict me. Revoke it, destroy the covenant, root out, cast out, and set me free. In Jesus' name, the voice of the blood of Jesus. Re re revisit the voices that attack me from my mother's womb. Undo the evil, destroy the covenant, revoke and overthrow, and set me free. In Jesus' name. Say voices programmed into my life as a baby to attack my life. I reject, I break the covenant, and I command you, get out of my life. In Jesus' name. Voices programmed into my life as a baby. I reject you by the blood of Jesus. I break covenant with you. Lose your hold and let go of me right now. Voices programmed into my life as a baby. The blood of Jesus revoke it, abolish it, destroy the covenant, and set me free. In Jesus' name. And everybody says, and everybody says, put your right hand on your belly. I ask the voice of the blood of Jesus to revisit your formation in the womb, your conception, the time in the womb, and the time of birth. The voices that have been released against you to afflict you, blood of Jesus, revoke, Amen. abolish, destroy the covenant, and set you free in Jesus' name. Amen. Now lift up your voice. See? The voice of the blood of Jesus that speaks better things. Repattern my life for good. The voice of the blood of Jesus that speaks better things. Repattern my life for good. Ah, the voice of the blood of Jesus that speaks better things. Repattern my life for good. Let the voice of the blood of Jesus break forth into my life. In the voice of the blood of Jesus that speaks better things. Break forth into my life. Repattern my life for good. In Jesus' name. The voice of the blood of Jesus that speaks better things. Break forth into my life. Repattern my life for good. The voice of the blood of Jesus that speaks better things. Break forth into my life. Repattern my life for good. In Jesus' name. The voice of the blood of Jesus that speaks better things. Break forth into my life. Repattern my life for good. In Jesus' name. I pray the voice of the blood of Jesus that speaks better things. To break forth into this gathering. Repattern our life for good in Jesus' name. I pray for you tonight that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the voice of the blood of Jesus that speaks better things, repattern your life for good. Repattern your life for good. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Make it a threefold amen. She was already influenced by the voice of serpent. Say this. 
the voice of the serpent. The blood of Jesus rebuke and condemn you. Get out of my life right now. The voice of the serpent. The blood of Jesus rebuke and condemn you. Lose your hold and get out of my life now. The voice of the serpent. The blood of Jesus rebuke and condemn you. Lose your hold and get out of my life right now. The voice of the serpent. The blood of Jesus rebuke and condemn you. Lose your hold and get out of my life. The voice of the serpent. The blood of Jesus rebuke and condemn you. Lose your hold and get out of my life now in Jesus' name. The voice of the serpent. The blood of Jesus rebuke and condemn you. Lose your hold and get out of this gathering. In Jesus' name, I command the voice of the serpent. Come under divine arrest. Lose your hold over this gathering and flee to desolation. In Jesus' name, I pray for you that in the name of Jesus, the voice of the serpent get out of your life. Flee and never return. In Jesus' name, decree. As the Lord liveth, and as his spirit lives, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I shall not be influenced by evil voices. As the Lord liveth, and as his spirit lives, I shall not be influenced by evil voices. As the Lord liveth, and as his spirit lives, I shall not be influenced by evil voices. I pray in Jesus' name, this garden will not be influenced by evil voices. I pray you will not be influenced by evil voices. In Jesus' name, and everybody says, listen. Just one conversation. Eve was satanically influenced and her life altered and her life redesigned. Repatterned for evil forever. Just by the voice of the serpent. There are serpentine voices that we live with. I'm living among us. You find them everywhere. When they speak openly or secretly, before your face or behind you, everybody will be satanically influenced against you. And there's nothing you can do about that. Fight it. Report it. File a lawsuit. You can't change people tonight. That was why the very first intervention to rescue mankind was the voice of the Holy Spirit. Voice against voice. She had the voice of serpent. She was satanically influenced. Holy Spirit came in and walked, brought walking, meaning brought her out from behind where Satan caged her. From that point, she was altered. How many people have spoken negatively against you? And people, people have been stirred up against you. And you are fighting it. Where then the way out? Silent those voices. Is somebody understanding? Muzzle those voices. Who is ready to do that right now? You will declare satanic voices influencing people against me. Blood of Jesus, silent and desolate them. Silent and desolate them. In Jesus' name, satanic voices influencing people against me. Blood of Jesus, silent and desolate them. In Jesus' name, satanic voices influencing people against me. The voice of the blood of Jesus, arrest them, banish them to desolation. Amen. Now, take it this way. Say, satanic voices influencing people against my life. Brethren, we are speaking about voice. Your own voice matter to your solution at this point. Speak it out. Satanic voices influencing people against me. The voice of the blood of Jesus banish them to desolation. What do you mean by banish? To banish 
is to send away with punishment. To do what? Send away with punishment. Meaning they will not go without being afflicted. Oh, satanic voices influencing people against me. The voice of the blood of Jesus banish them to desolation. Banish them to desolation. In Jesus' name, satanic voices influencing people against me. The voice of the blood of Jesus banish them to desolation. Banish them to desolation. Satanic voices influencing people against me. The voice of the blood of Jesus banish them to desolation. In Jesus' name, satanic voices influencing people against me. The voice of the blood of Jesus banish them to desolation. In Jesus' name, satanic voices stirring up people against me, influencing people against me. Let the voice of the blood of Jesus banish them to desolation. Banish them to desolation. Now, in Jesus' name, satanic voices influencing people against me. Let the voice of the blood of Jesus banish them to desolation. In Jesus' name, satanic voices influencing people against me. Let the voice of the blood of Jesus banish them to desolation. Satanic voices influencing people against me. Let the voice of the blood of Jesus banish them to desolation. In Jesus' name. Satanic voices influencing people against me. Let the voice of the blood of Jesus banish them to desolation. In Jesus' name, satanic voices influencing people against me. The blood of Jesus rebuke you. The blood of Jesus condemn you. Satanic voices influencing people against me. I decree the voice of the blood of Jesus to banish you to desolation. In Jesus' name. Concerning this gathering, I decree satanic voices, all voices, influencing people against this gathering. Let the voice of the blood of Jesus banish them to desolation. Banish them to desolation. Banish them to desolation. In Jesus' name, voices influencing people against this gathering. The voice of the blood of Jesus banish them all to desolation. In Jesus' name, and everybody says, I pray for you. Voices stirring up people against you, influencing people against you. Let the voice of the blood of Jesus banish them to desolation. In Jesus' name, I decree to your life that voices influencing people, stirring up people against you. Let the voice of the blood of Jesus Banish them to desolation now. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. John chapter 10, verses 27 and 28. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. And everybody says, look at, read that, those two verses again, verse 27. Jesus, the great shepherd, he said, my sheep hear my voice. Wherever lost, however lost, when the voice of the shepherd will go, the sh sheep will connect. They know the voice of the shepherd and they follow. He said, and said, I will give them eternal life. And said, they shall never perish. I, I love that. As you see me, I shall never perish. How about you? How about you? I shall never perish. And no power, spirit, or personality can pluck me out of the hand of resurrected Jesus, my great shepherd. If you believe that, say it loud and say, no power, spirit, or personality shall pluck me out of the hand of resurrected Jesus, my great shepherd. You believe that? Say yes. Therefore, say, 
if you are the sheep of his shepherd, they are hireling. Like I was discussing with a pastor uh, uh, last week. And he, he was concerned about many things. I said, listen, the, the church you have today, not just the body of Christ, your own congregation, the little sheep you have there, there are foxes there. There are other wild animals that want to devour the sheep. And there are also goats there. Those ones is just to cause trouble. He said, what do we do? I say, the possible thing, the main thing now is the number of sheep is relatively insignificant. Those goats, they will cause trouble. The foxes want to tear apart, eat and kill. They want to make the sheep weak and feeble so that the work of God will not progress. I say, if that sheep succeed among the wolves, the foxes, and wild animals, there is an hireling pretending to be the shepherd to lead them into destruction. The man say, it's a very dangerous job. I say, extremely dangerous. I say, and you know what? You are the first target as a pastor. Those who, I look at him, I say, I'm talking to myself too. The wolves will come for you, pretending to love you. Foxes will heat you up, pretending to be serving. The irony will come in, pretending they want to take the ministry to the next level. <laughs> I say, before you know, you as a pastor, you are lost. He said, really? He said, man of God, what shall we do to do? Let's set a day for prayer. He has a ministry within the city, flourishing. He called me later, he said, I have not been able to sleep since we spoke. He said, what you said, I could see it happening before my congregation. Brethren, the sheep of the Lord more than ever before, is in extreme danger. There are wolves in sheep clothing. There are foxes. And there are hirelings pretending to be shepherds. But one thing, look into that verse 27. The sheep of the Lord, we always hear the voice of the shepherd. He knows them, and they will follow. Jesus, the good shepherd. Now, no wonder he now said in verse 28. Look at that. He said, I've given them eternal life. They will never perish. That is my comfort. Guard, guard the wolves. Call out the foxes. Bring in the hireling. I shall never perish in Jesus' name. Summon the wolves and the foxes with their hireling. Nothing can pluck me as the sheep of the pasture of my Lord Jesus. Nothing can pluck me from his hand. So when you see the blood tested demon, they look at you and their, and their tongue is as if, if fat, let the Holy Ghost fire blast your jaw. You see me, you are doing that day. You can't drink my blood, though. Don't even think of it. So you just sit there and you. <laughs> it's like, which area will I give one major attack? And this person will forget ministry. When the pastor received the second dose, he said, I think you come and teach it in my church or pastor. I said, this is not pastor conference. Individual, find your way out first. It is a dangerous situation. The networking of evil is extremely wild. 
They have occupied the high places. If you say, that's why I pity people running from prophet to prophet. You just walk into wolves. Say, I sit down, you come in, I will devote this one first and hide you as extra. Let the voice of the Lord break forth into your life to rescue you from evil voices. Amen. Connect to the voice of the shepherd. Your life will never remain the same. Therefore, that's why I don't fear devil or all their agents of any hierarchy. I don't for one bit think of it to fear them. It's abomination. The reason is, Jesus has given me eternal life. I shall never, never perish. And as the sheep in his hand, not, nobody can pluck me out of his hand. That settles the case. Lift up your voice, therefore. Do we have the sheep of the Lord in the house? No. You better identify yourself so that we know wolves or, or foxes. Say, as the sheep, say, resurrected Jesus. You are my good shepherd. Listen, this is important for your deliverance. So that you tell the enemy I don't belong to you. And you declare where you belong. Say, resurrected Jesus. You are my good shepherd. And I'm the sheep of your pasture. Oh, resurrected Jesus. You are the good shepherd. And I'm the sheep of your pasture. In Jesus' name. In this garden, resurrected Jesus, you are our good shepherd. And we are the sheep of your pasture. In Jesus' name, and everybody says, Say, as the sheep. Say this. As, as, the, as the sheep. In the hand of resurrected Jesus, my shepherd. As the sheep. In the hand of resurrected Jesus, my shepherd. I will never respond to evil voices. I will never respond to evil voices. As the sheep of the good shepherd resurrected Jesus, I will never respond to evil voices. In Jesus' name, put your right hand on your chest. Say, by the command of the Holy One of Israel, my spirit, soul, and body, do not yield, do not submit, do not follow evil voices. My spirit, soul, and body, by the command of the law, do not yield, do not follow, do not submit to evil voices. It is by command of the Lord, declare, my spirit, soul, and body, by the command of the Lord, do not yield, do not submit, do not follow evil voices in Jesus' name. Why not say every part of me, spirit, soul, and body, by the command of the Lord God of hosts, you shall only yield to the voice of resurrected Jesus, your shepherd. My spirit, soul, and body, by the command of the Lord God of hosts, you shall only yield, submit, respond to the voice of resurrected Jesus, the good shepherd. My spirit, soul, and body, by the command of the Lord God of hosts, you shall only yield, submit, and surrender, follow and respond to the voice of resurrected Jesus, the great shepherd. And everybody says, that's why we need to be able to design voices. Beware of evil voices. There are negative voices at war with our thoughts, with our mind, with our thinking, with our reasoning, with our perception, just to alter our identity. Somebody say they shall not prosper. Psalm 44, verse 16. What says the Lord? For the voice of him that reproacheth and blaspheming by the reason of the enemy and the avenger. Read it louder. By the voice of him that reproacheth and blasphemeth, by the reason of the enemy and avenger. And everybody says, 
And everybody said it. So there is a voice of reproach. And there is the voice of blaspheme. Beware of the voice of blaspheme. The enemy wants to shift our focus away from God. That God has rejected and abandoned us. And before we know, we may be influenced by this. We start dishonoring God in our thoughts, in our imaginations, in our ways. Before you know it, profane talk. You speak negative about God. If it's God, why can't he do it? Why is my life like this? If I've been praying for this long, why are things not changing? What is God, what is God doing about my life? His voice of blasphemy. It's a deeply seated principality. Everyone must overcome. Is this one of the major principality that we operate in this end time? People will just be fed up of God. People will just want to have it their way. Things of God becomes irrelevant. Let us come before the Lord in repentance. Are you ready, somebody? Say, oh God, please forgive me of dishonoring you. Forgive me, oh most high God, for dishonoring your name, for dishonoring your, you in all areas. Have mercy upon me, O God. Forgive me of iniquity or blasphemy. I confess it as sin. I see it as great iniquity. I seek for pardon. I plead forgiveness. Forgive me, O God, and have mercy upon me. Let the blood of Jesus purge me from the iniquity of blasphemy. Keep declaring that. Say, blood of Jesus, purge me from the iniquity of blasphemy. Blood of Jesus, purge me from the iniquity of blasphemy. Blood of Jesus, purge me from the iniquity of blasphemy. The power in the blood of Jesus, purge me now from the iniquity of blasphemy. In Jesus' name. Say, have mercy upon me, O God. And set me free from the yoke of bondages of blasphemy. Say, evil projected into my thoughts, into my mind, into my imaginations, into my words and action. I reject you by the blood of Jesus. Let go of me and be gone. In Jesus' name. Have mercy upon me, O God, and free me from blasphemy. In Jesus' mighty name. Now, command. Put your right hand on your belly. Say, you spirit of blasphemy, the blood of Jesus rebuke and condemn you. Let go of me and get out of my life. Spirit of blasphemy, the blood of Jesus rebuke and condemn you. Loose your hold and get out of my life. In Jesus' name, spirit of blasphemy, the blood of Jesus rebuke and condemn you. Loose your hold. Get out of my life. Cast it out, cast it out. Spirit of blasphemy, the blood of Jesus rebuke and condemn you. Let go of me. Get out and never return. In Jesus' name. He also say, voice of blasphemy. Say, the voice of the blood of Jesus. Chase away the voice of blasphemy from you, my life. The voice of the blood of Jesus. Chase away the voice of blasphemy from my life. The voice of the blood of Jesus. Chase away the voice of blasphemy from my life. The voice of the blood of Jesus. Chase away the voice of blasphemy from my life. The voice of the blood of Jesus. Chase away. The voice of blasphemy from this gathering. I command the voice of blasphemy. Lose your hold. Get out of your life. In Jesus' name. 
I decree the voice of blasphemy, loose hold, get out of this gathering, and never return. In Jesus' mighty name, and everybody says, read the verse again. For the voice of him that reproached and blasphemy by the reason of the enemy and avenger. By the reason. The voice of reproach and blasphemy stirred up by the enemy of our soul. By those seeking vengeance. See, by all means, I want to pull this person down. By all means, I want to see this person fail. Somebody said they shall not prosper. Oh, you better shout it louder. He said the voice of reproach and the voice of blasphemy stirred up because of the enemy and because of avengers. Lift up your voice before we pray about the voice of reproach. You are going to command. Say the enemy and the avenger. Oh, you better pray. The enemy, there are those who hate your soul. The avengers, there are those who don't just want to see you succeed. You don't need to offend them. Your comfort is their sadness. Somebody said they will be sad for, a, for eternity. Because the Holy Spirit will continuously comfort you to success. I think somebody should receive that right now. Therefore, you are going to command the enemy and the, aven and the avengers. Stirred up against my land. Let God arise and scatter them to desolations. In Jesus' name, the enemy and the avenger. Stirred up against my land. Let God arise and scatter them to desolation. The enemy and the avenger. Stirred up against my land. I command you in the name of Jesus. Let God arise and scatter them to desolation. The enemy and the avengers. Stirred up against my land. Let God arise and scatter them to desolation. In Jesus' name, the enemy and the avenger. Stirred up against my land. Let God arise and scatter them to desolation. In Jesus' name, the enemy and the avenger. Stirred up against my land. Let God arise and scatter them to desolation. In Jesus' name, over this gathering, the enemy and the avenger. Stirred up against this gathering. Let God arise and scatter them to desolation. And scatter them to desolation. The enemy and the avenger. Stirred up against this gathering. Let God arise and scatter them to desolation. In Jesus' name. The enemy and the avenger. Stirred up against this gathering. Let God arise and scatter them to desolations. In Jesus' name. I pray for you. By the authority in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That the enemy and the avenger. Stirred up against you. I command them to be overthrown to desolation. In Jesus' name. The intent of the enemy and the avenger are very clear. To constantly bring reproach so that we can blaspheme God. The focus of the enemy and the avenger constantly bring reproach so that we can blaspheme God. If somebody is suffering reproach, 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 everything at war with that person will be pushed to a point of blasphemy. The thought will now be working against the presence of God. I want us to pray. Don't let any enemy or avenger multiply reproach in your life to the point that you will blaspheme God. Did somebody get that? Don't let the enemy and the avenger multiply reproach in your life to the point of blaspheming God. It's the one that will be pointing, look at your case, look at your family, look at your health, look at this. And you say you are praying. They, want, they are the one multiplying those reproaches and they are pointing it to you so that you can blaspheme God. Somebody say they will not prosper. Therefore, you are going to command the enemy and the avengers networking against my land. 
blood of Jesus, banish them to desolation. Banish them to desolation. The enemy are the avenger, networking against my life. Blood of Jesus, banish them to desolation. Banish them to desolation. In the name of Jesus, the enemy and the avenger, networking against my life. Blood of Jesus, banish them to desolation. In the name of Jesus, the enemy and the avenger, networking against my life. Blood of Jesus, banish them to desolation. In Jesus' name, the enemy and the avenger, networking against his gathering. Let the power in the blood of Jesus banish them to desolation. In Jesus' name, I pray for this gathering that the enemies and the avengers networking against this gathering, blood of Jesus, banish them to desolation. Overthrow them to desolation in Jesus' name. Cursed be the enemy and the avengers stirred up against this gathering. They shall not prosper in Jesus' name. The blood of Jesus rebuke and condemn the enemy and the avengers stirred up against this gathering. They shall not prosper in Jesus' name. Why not lift up your voice? Brethren, the day you live to triumph over the enemy and the avenger, and that's the overcoming life God has called us into, any reproach the program will not work for you, against you. Lift up your voice. Say, by the mercy of the Holy One of Israel, I prevail over the enemy and the avenger of my soul. By the mercy of the Holy One of Israel, I prevail over the enemy and the avenger of my soul. By the mercy of the Holy One of Israel, I prevail over the enemy and the avenger of my soul. By the mercy of the Holy One of Israel, I prevail over the enemy and the avenger of my soul. In Jesus' name, by the mercy of the Holy One of Israel, I prevail over the enemy and the avenger of my soul. Prevail over the enemy and the avenger of her soul. In Jesus' mighty name, and everybody says, and everybody says, you are going to command. Reject reproach that will push you to blasphemy. Reproach that people will be pointing to. Reproach that the enemy will constantly be reminding you of. Reproach always standing before you and say, Lord, what am I going to do? The reason for this, to push the person to blasphemy and turn against God. Don't let that ever happen. Therefore, begin to reject reproach. Break covenant with reproach. Are you ready? Oh, you better decree right now. Say, by the covenant of the blood of Jesus upon my life, I reject reproach and I break covenant with reproach. By the covenant of the blood of Jesus upon my life, I reject reproach. I break covenant with reproach in Jesus' name. By the covenant of the blood of Jesus upon my life, I reject reproach. I break covenant with reproach. By the covenant of the blood of Jesus upon my life, I reject reproach. I break covenant with reproach. In the name of Jesus, by the covenant of the blood of Jesus upon my life, reproach is not my portion. I reject reproach, and I break covenant with reproach. This gathering, by the covenant of the blood of Jesus, we reject reproach, and we break covenant with reproach in Jesus' name. Say, dedication, dedic say, I reject dedication to reproach. It's not my portion. Get out of my life. I reject dedication to reproach. Lose your hold and get out of my life. In Jesus' name, I reject dedication to reproach. Lose your hold and get out of my life. In Jesus' name, the blood of Jesus rebuke, condemn, dedication to reproach. Yes, you that person, if in your bloodline people are dedicated to reproach, I see you escaping right now. Say, I reject dedication to reproach. It is not my portion. Lose your hold and get out of my life. In Jesus' name. Say, Holy Ghost fire. Destroy the yoke of reproach in my life. In Jesus' name. 
Holy Ghost fire, destroy the yoke of reproach in my life. Holy Ghost fire, destroy the yoke of reproach in my life. In Jesus' name, Holy Ghost fire, destroy the yoke of reproach in my life. In Jesus' name, Holy Ghost fire, now is the hour. Destroy the yoke of reproach in my life. In Jesus' name, Holy Ghost fire, destroy the yoke of reproach in this gathering. In Jesus' name. Now, command. Say, curse of reproach. The blood of Jesus rebuke and condemn you. Get out of my life now. Curse of reproach. The blood of Jesus rebuke and condemn you. Lose your hold and get out of my life now. In Jesus' name. Curse of reproach. The blood of Jesus rebuke and condemn you. Lose your hold and get out of my life. In Jesus' name. Curse of reproach. The blood of Jesus rebuke and condemn you. Lose your hold and get out of my life. In Jesus' name, in this gathering, I command the curse of reproach. Be rooted out and cast out of this gathering right now. Blood of Jesus, remove the curse of reproach from this gathering. Blood of Jesus, remove the curse of reproach from this gathering. In Jesus' name, blood of Jesus, destroy the yoke of reproach in this gathering. In Jesus' mighty name, put your right hand on your belly. Say reproach. You better call it by name. Say reproach. The blood of Jesus rebuke and condemn you. Lose your hold and get out of my life. Lose your hold and get out of my life. Lose your hold and get out of my life. In Jesus' name, reproach. The blood of Jesus rebuke and condemn you. Lose your hold and get out of my life. In Jesus' name, reproach. The blood of Jesus rebuke and condemn you. Lose your hold and get out of my life. In Jesus' name, in this gathering, reproach. The blood of Jesus rebuke and condemn you. Lose your hold. Get out of this gathering. Flee to desolation. In Jesus' name, and everybody says. Retain the hands right there. I pray the power in the blood of Jesus to remove the... In I want us to pray this. I feel the Holy Ghost. Say, blood of Jesus, purge me from the iniquity of reproach. The Bible says sin is a reproach. Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach. Is there a sin bringing reproach to your life? Say, blood of Jesus, purge me from the iniquity of reproach. This is very important. Blood of Jesus, purge me from the iniquity of reproach. Blood of Jesus, purge me, I pray, from the iniquity of reproach. Blood of Jesus, purge me from the iniquity of reproach. Blood of Jesus, purge me from the iniquity of reproach. Blood of Jesus, purge me from the iniquity of reproach. Blood of Jesus, purge me from the iniquity of reproach. Blood of Jesus, purge me from the iniquity of reproach. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, Purge me from the iniquity of reproach. Blood of Jesus, purge me from the iniquity of reproach. In the name of Jesus, concerning this gathering, let the power in the blood of Jesus purge us from the iniquity of reproach. Let the covenant of the blood of Jesus purge this gathering from the iniquity of reproach. The covenant of the blood of Jesus purge our lives from the iniquity of reproach. In Jesus' name, I pray for you that the blood of Jesus to purge you from the iniquity of reproach. In Jesus' mighty name. Somebody say, damages, reproaches done to my life. Be repaired now by the blood of Jesus. Damages, reproach done to my life. Be repaired now by the blood of Jesus. Damages, reproach done to my life. Be revoked now by the blood of Jesus. Be repaired and be revoked by the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, rescue me, I pray, from damages, reproach done to my life. Blood of Jesus, rescue and set me free from damages, reproach has done to my life. Blood of Jesus, rescue and set me free from damages, reproach done to my life. In Jesus' name. Blood of Jesus, rescue and set me free from damages, reproach done to my life. 
blood of Jesus, rescue and set me free from damages, reproach done to my life. In Jesus' name, blood of Jesus, rescue and set this gathering free from the repro damages, reproach done to our life. In Jesus' name, I pray for you. Be rescued by the blood of Jesus from damages, reproach has done to your life. Why not declare blessings in that in my life by reproach? The blood of Jesus restore now. Blessings in that in my life by reproach. The blood of Jesus restore now. In Jesus' name. Blessings in that in my life by reproach. The blood of Jesus restore now. Blessings in that in my life by reproach. The blood of Jesus restore, restore, restore. Restore right now. Take the blessings due to you. The reproach can no longer take away the blessings. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say voice of reproach. Voice of blasphemy. The blood of Jesus overthrow you out of my life. In Jesus' name. The voice of reproach. The, the voice of blasphemy. The blood of Jesus overthrow you and cast you out of our lives. In Jesus' name, put your right hand on your chest. Let the covenant of the blood of Jesus be upon you right now. The covenant of the blood of Jesus is upon you. Root out reproaches from your life in Jesus' name. The blood of Jesus rebuke, condemn reproaches in your life. The curse, the yoke, the covenant, the networking of reproach in your life. The blood of Jesus arrest, root out, and cast out in Jesus' name. I ask the fire of the Holy Spirit to purge you of reproach. The blood of Jesus set you free from reproach. In Jesus' mighty name. And peace be upon you. In Jesus' mighty name. Say, I need the intervention of the voice of the Lord most high. In all areas of my life, I need the intervention of the voice of the Most High God. In all areas of my life, I need the intervention of the voice of the Lord God of hosts. In all areas of my life. In this garden, we need the intervention of the voice of the Lord God of hosts. In all areas of our lives, in Jesus' name and everybody say are you blessed? Remember, this is going to continue to the end of the year. We need the intervention of the voice of God. Negative voices have spoken to you for too long. Reverse it and let the voice of the Lord prevail over you. Say, henceforth, let the voice of the blood of Jesus prevail over my life. And now, listen, this is important. Meaning, bring the voices from hell, from darkness, from death. It's not going to work when the voice of the blood of Jesus is activated in your life. You mean, you're declaring that any voice speaking against you shall not prevail. Only the voice of the blood of Jesus will avail for you. Are you ready for this? Say yes. Say, henceforth, let the voice of the blood of Jesus avail for me in Jesus name henceforth let the voice of the blood of Jesus avail for me in Jesus name henceforth let the voice of the blood of Jesus avail for me in Jesus name henceforth let the voice of the blood of Jesus avail for me the voice of the blood of Jesus avail for me in Jesus name in this gathering let the voice of the blood of Jesus avail for us. In Jesus' name, I pray for you that the voice of the blood of Jesus to avail for you now. In Jesus' mighty name, and everybody says, go forth and let the voice of the blood of Jesus break forth in all areas of your life. In Jesus' name. You receive the intervention of the blood, voice of the blood of Jesus in all areas of your life, say yes. Shout amen threefold. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Let's rejoice and give thanks to God. We are grateful, O oh God. We are thankful for your help. Take all the glory, O oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Next week, by the grace of God, being the first Monday in, November, in December, this Holy Spirit as voice is going to take a higher level. We don't want to miss that. Because when the voice of the Holy Spirit really step in, you will live victoriously all your lives. Let's bless the Lord with our tithes and offerings. You're connecting online. God bless you. Kindly click the donate button on our website. AboveAllChristian.org Or you can do e-transfer AboveAllChristianGathering at gmail.com e-transfer above a Christian gathering at gmail.com I pray the blessings of the Most High God upon us all as we offer this unto the Lord. Be blessed. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. The Lord is my light and salvation Whom shall I fear? Shall I be afraid? The Lord is my light, salvation. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I be afraid? I will wait on you. I will wait on you. I will trust in you. I will trust in you. The Lord, the Lord. Wednesday, this Wednesday is going to be a joyful, great time in the presence of the Lord. Please come at 7. Let's rejoice in the presence of God this Wednesday at, at what time? 7. This Saturday, arise and shine. 8 o'clock in the morning. The word of the Lord came expressly. Tell my people to appear in my presence. I will empower them to finish the year strong. I say that again. Tell my people to appear in my presence. I will empower them to finish the year strong. So don't say I will watch it online. Make a physical present. This is important. The very first weekend to round up the year of the last month. We need to come before the Lord with gratitude of victory through the year and victory for the rest of the year. Please, come in. Be physically present this Saturday morning, 8 o'clock. What time this Saturday morning, 8 o'clock. Come and be blessed. The Lord bless you and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give you peace. In Jesus' name, and everybody says, Year 2023 is my year of secure divine refuge. As it is written, But the Lord has been my defense, and my God the rock of my refuge. Therefore, in this year 2023, the God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob is my defense and my rock of refuge. In Jesus' name, and everybody says, Hallelujah, sevenfold. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. God bless you and thank you.